I just follow Julian more on Instagram. Because he's looking for dog, dog stories. He knows that I posted yep. the dog, so he's interested in that. Yeah. She, was talking, she was talking about her new dog, Hope. So I was like, you know. Yeah. Check follow. it out. <laughs> well, do that actually works perfectly for my first question was what is the highlight of working together? It sounds like dogs on Instagram, but I'm sure with the message of hope and everything in this film that you found some other things to bond over, uh, Julianne? We, um, we didn't see each other at all during the making of this. This is our, this is actually our first encounter, which is why maybe he's following me on Instagram and we're talking so much about our dogs. We're so excited to be, uh, even together virtually, but I would, uh, I, I never even knew what Jake was doing. And it was very near the end of, of our recording process when they brought his voice in. I was like, oh crap, um, that's what he sounds like. Um, yeah, so I, I wish that we'd been able to do it together. I think that would have been fun. Jake, what has been the highlight for you then? Um, for me? Working with Julianne, yes. Well, I got to hear Julianne's voice early on. Um, yeah, and then I just tried to do everything that you did. Like I just like mimicked all the stuff that you were doing. I had no original choice of my own. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, uh, I mean, you know, the tr the truth is, I think for me more and more as I as I have the opportunity to to be able to work as an actor, I start to realize that it's just you know when you it's your it's your life that you are experiencing, even as you're you know you're working. It is actually our lives. I think there's nothing more apparent than you know that this past year and a half to show us all that that so much of our lives have been missing because we um, so many people have not been able to work. Um, but I think being with someone in person and being with someone who you enjoy and who you like, um, and Julian happens to be someone that I, I do actually, and we have met up at different times, randomly been on planes together, yep. Yep. like That's sat sweet. next to each other at different times. So, and, and, and it's actually been enjoyable. Um, <laughs> so I can't imagine what working with her actually would be like, you know? Um, so I, yeah, I mean, I, I, I just, you know, I was just happy to be in a movie with her. And I think that it, it, it makes the film just a, a better film when she is in, in a movie. And so uh, I like being in good films. And so. Well, here you are, good films, good yeah. company. I had read Jake that you had teared up the first time that you were pitched this film. What was it about the character that resonated with you so much? I don't know if it was the character necessarily. As much as it was this little girl, Lucky, who had been through so much, had had experienced uh, pain and, and loss in her life, but still hold, held on to her spirit and held on to who she was and, and what she loved and didn't let anyone else tell her otherwise. And it really reminded me of my nieces and um, the children I know in my life and what I want for them, which is just for them to be themselves, regardless of what anyone tells them or tries to put them in a box or, you know, tell them they shouldn't be, that they should just be themselves and follow that forever. And I think that's what moved me so much about it. Um, I had also seen, uh, just going to the end of the movie, that you sort of become the ultimate girl dad. And I don't know if you know, that's like a hashtag, that's a thing. Um, Julianne, as a mother of two, can you see Jake as the perfect girl dad? Oh my God, I think he'd be the perfect dad, period. What's the hold up, Jake? Come on, man. <laughs> um, that, I mean, that's, I think that's a bigger know. question, I think. But um, one that I think is important for Access Hollywood to know about. Yep, um, yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I, <laughs> yeah, what's the I mean, yeah. I mean, truly, yeah. I don't know. Truly, that's I don't unfair. Know. I shouldn't have done, I shouldn't have put him on the spot but, like that. No, I do, no, no, you <laughs> absolutely <laughs> should. No, you absolutely should. If you don't do it, who is? So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, right. like I, you know, um, I, I think that um, I think that it's uh, it's going to be time. That's a good enough of an answer for me. Sorry, but thank yeah. you for <laughs> answering that. But you had uh, Jake, you had also posted something recently about the 20th anniversary of um, Donnie Darko and how that sort of shifted your career. I'm curious to know for both of you, Julianne as well, what was that turning point for you that you realized that acting was more than a passion that you could really make a career out of this? Is that for a Julianne? Sure, either I'm you. interested in Julianne's answer, not mine. Well, 
I don't know that. I mean, the thing about the thing the thing about what we do for a living is that it's never it never feels quite guaranteed. You know, it's like it's like we we are we are, we are freelancers in a sense. So you know, you feel like every job could, that could be the end of the road, and um, and so I always I. Um, I'm always surprised that it keeps, I'm grateful. I'm always grateful and surprised that it, that it keeps going. But I do think that the very first time I got a job that I got a, I, I had, I was on a soap opera at the very beginning of my career and I couldn't believe that I got a paycheck at the end of the week. And it was like a, a, a real paycheck. Like I could live on it. I didn't have to wait tables at the same time. I think that was a, that was a revelation for me. I was like, wow, this is a, a real job. It's a real job. It's pretty exciting. Did you splurge on anything on that with that paycheck? Rent. <laughs> All we need a roof over our head. <laughs> yeah.